I'm Larry Walther and this is PrinciplesOfAccounting.com Chapter 19 and this is our final module in the Job Costing and Modern Cost Management System Chapter and here we're going to look at a modern management of costs and quality. These are some concepts we're going to introduce, some terms you might hear from time to time, fascinating areas for in-depth study. We're just going to look at an introduction to this particular set of material. First of all, recognize that technologically advanced systems mean less time needs to be spent on data capture and more time can be devoted to analyzing data and making sound business decisions. Business success can be driven by a fixation on metrics such as quality, employee involvement, customer satisfaction, and so forth. Profit is not necessarily the objective, but it is the result of focusing on these important business dimensions. Uh, Kaizen is a term you might hear. It's a Japanese term used to describe a blitz-like uh, approach to study processes and install efficiency within an organization. It typically involves frontline employees who have their hands on on a daily basis and they're able to provide input on quick fixes and suggestions related to business process improvement. Strategic finance, managerial accounting, and engineering teams conduct focus groups and learn from employees about how to develop solutions to business problems and improve business efficiencies and processes. Here's an example. This is a manufacturing process and at the start of production employees were working on the various goods and they processed them and we got to the end of line one and we came back around over here to line two and we processed it into the final packaging unit. Employees said, you know, we're running into each other as we run our goods down the line and that's a long way to travel with our goods. What if we just turn this around? What if we start our production and we reverse the order flow of the second manufacturing line, we drop down and enter goods into the second, third, and fourth processes and flow it to packaging. We reduce the amount of time and inefficiency of moving goods back and forth. Very simple illustration of the point that people that are hands-on on a daily basis can probably look around and go, you know, there's ways to improve our efficiency and generate cost savings and greater profitability through that. A lean is another term. Lean is an environment where waste has been trimmed. It entails a focus on response time, continuous improvement, inventory reduction, and standardization. A place for everything and everything in its place. Uh, so when you're using tooling, you're not, where did I lay this down last? It's perhaps hanging on a particular spot on the wall that's marked and painted with an outline to show exactly where that tool needs to be. So it's just trying to drive in efficiency in the process. Extensive in-depth studies are conducted to improve efficiency while adding customer value. There's truly a focus on customer quality and customer satisfaction in a lean environment. Automakers, for example, had at one time many options for a car so that each customer spent considerable time picking the options they wanted, an order sheet was prepared, and as the car was put through manufacturing, great attention had to be paid to the fact that this customer wants an electric window and this customer wants an electric door lock, uh, but not both. Well, maybe it's cheaper to simply start combining or bundling and saying, look, if you want the uh, LT package, then you're going to get the electric windows and the electric door locks and so forth. By having all products standardized in that grade of product, we do away with the need for all of the detailed tracking. It simplifies inventory management, reduces cost, and probably delivers a better product to the customer at a lower, lower price point. Just in time is a term you might have heard. It has to do with minimizing the amount of inventory you carry. Maintaining raw material inventory entails considerable upfront investment as well as the potential for damage and obsolescence. With a just in time system, goods are scheduled to be received just as we need them. It does require a reliable, complete logistics system. If you don't receive a good that's expected to be delivered on schedule, then the whole production process can come to a halt, which is obviously very costly. So, Strong information systems often link manufacturers directly with suppliers in an automated procurement process in a true just-in-time inventory system. Kanban is a Japanese term to signal that a particular inventory item is ready for replenishment. It could be as simple as if you have a basket and 100 items of inventory, when you reach 10 in stock, you may want to place another order. And so as you work through, maybe when you reach for the 10th item, a tag is already in the bin that says, oh, we need to order. And so go ahead and get the order system going. Of course, you'd probably do that electronically in some fashion, but it's basically the signal for replenishment of inventory. Total quality management is a key driver of customer satisfaction and business success. It incorporates detailed standards into processes. The International Organization for Standardization provides guidelines relating to processes that drive quality. You may see a business saying that we're ISO certified. That's what it relates to. ISO certification is for companies that have successfully demonstrated the integration of total quality management standards throughout their entire organization. Benchmarking is a term or process used where we compare 
products and processes to world-class firms. The best of class, what are they doing? We want to try to match that in terms of our results and our metrics. Six Sigma, finally, is a disciplined approach designed to achieve nearly zero defects. Sigma is a term that measures deviation from a norm in a statistical context. Near zero defects would reflect a rate that shows six standard deviations from the norm. Defects relate not only to final products, but also business processes. And so as you drive toward a Six Sigma output, what you're saying is we want to be so far out in the tail with our error rate that it's virtually near zero or just two or three or six errors per million units produced. So a Six Sigma environment is one that strives for virtual perfection in all that is done and all that is accomplished. So you'll hear that term. Defects can be very costly, the reason we try to avoid them, so we don't have corrective actions such as rework, warranty work, customer unhappiness, and things of this nature. You may hear, interestingly, the term black belt. That's someone who's highly trained in Six Sigma. It sounds like a karate term or something, but that's been borrowed and applied in the Six Sigma type environment. So several companies are very proud of their Six Sigma record and have tried to drive themselves to near perfection through these management processes.